This is Openly Hostile Opinions with your hosts, Casey and Jay. What the hell is wrong with you? I can do anything I want to you people, and I want to. Now we're looking for evil guys. Yeah, man, man. This episode of Openly Hostile Opinions has been brought to you by Private Internet Access. Private Internet Access provides state-of-the-art multi-layered security with advanced privacy protection using VPN tunneling. When you use Private Internet Access, not even your ISP can tell what you're doing online. Prevent throttling and other people from eavesdropping on what you do. If you want to help out Openly Hostile Opinions and get yourself this wonderful VPN package, go to ohonet.pw slash ohovpn Again, that is ohonet.pw slash ohovpn Sign up for private internet access today. Welcome to Openly Hostile Opinions and we're here to Fuck you up. <laughs> oh, Jay, Jay coming in like lightning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, again, this week we do not have uh, a song. We don't have a band. Um, if you guys know anybody who's in a band who would like a little exposure, or if you yourself are in a band who uh, and would like a little exposure, please shoot us an email, man. Uh, we are always looking for new music to play, but uh, things have been kind of quiet on the old Twitter front lately. In that on the respect. old twatter. <laughs> The old twatter front. We also have no more beer because we're still both broke. Yeah, so sorry about that. Yeah, um, we'll get there. <laughs> I'm just. I was just telling Jay right before the show. I'm just starting to get money back from Christmas. Christmas is really hard for me because I have so many people to buy for. I know. I know. Trevor, where in the fuck is Greg? Uh, we'll tell. I'll tell you that story in a minute. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, um, I wanted to say a couple of things. First off, Happy New Year to you all. Uh, this is our first episode of 2018. No celebrities died yet, so we're good. Yeah, that we know of. <laughs> that we know of. That we know of. There may have been a couple that died today, and I didn't hear about it. We got a couple of things new that are going to be happening with the show and uh, with with my personal thing. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I have a I have a website called uh, Theaterverse dot com. It's kind of been defunct for a while lately, but I am planning er, on uh, relaunching that in a kind of a more of a video oriented format because I feel like uh, that's more fun for me to produce than, than just written work anymore. So uh, I'm definitely going to probably try to get this asshole to produce a video now and again for oh, as good. well, movie reviews and shit. Oh, nice. So if you guys want to check that out, it's theaterverse.com. Also, for, those, com. for the, those of you guys who are religious watchers on Periscope, we absolutely love you. And religious listeners on uh, the podcast, we absolutely love you. But you need to go. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, openly or it's uh, youtube.com slash c slash openly hostile opinions. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, like it, share it with your friends, and all that good shit. Because we added, uh, uh, we we do shorter, cooler little snippet videos as well. Uh, different types of content that we put up on there, and also uh, you can rewatch the shows anytime that's in a higher quality. So that's that's always cool. Mayor of Poundtown, USA, just joined. Great name. Um, Mama, yeah, that's that's a perfect excuse to leave. If you want a drink, that's fine. You're, you're, you, you, you left, but you, you were still in our hearts. So Yes, okay. uh, we appreciate and, it. And Trevor, Carrie Underwood got 60 stitches. In. Did I miss something? Oh, yeah, she tripped, uh, fell up the stairs. <laughs> Where? When? I hate that bitch. It was just a couple of... Why? W was it for New Year's or something? I don't know. I don't uh, know what day it happened, but I heard about it. I, how can you hate Carrie Underwood? She's the most innocuous of all celebrities. Because, she never did anything wrong. I'm a big Pittsburgh Penguins fan. And when they were playing Nashville for the Stanley Cup last year, she was like, d she's dating one of the captains, or she's married to him, I guess. And like they had her on the TV all the time. She was singing a national anthem. I was like, stop fucking promoting her. Like, this isn't about this fucking Carrie Connorwood or whatever her fucking name is. Like, play some fucking hockey. Does she just noise? She has great legs, though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, I think she has very sexified. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, we got something interesting to do here before we get too far into Casey's disgustingness. Uh, my wife bought us presents. Uh, Casey's is sort of nice, but uh, mine's supposed to be embarrassing, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be penis enlargement pills. <laughs> that's, that's uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting this. Jay just walked in with this. I was like, did you just come back from Bed Bath & Beyond, or what's going on? Go ahead, open yours first. Thank you, Amanda. I was not. I was not. Uh, it's a T-shirt. Ex expecting this. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a fat guy T-shirt. I think not, there's a it, card. It's not flannel. So that surprises me. <laughs> oh my God! She captured it. I don't know if you guys can read this on the on there, but it says, "I'm not lazy. I just really enjoy doing nothing." <laughs> she knows you. I'm very not well. lazy. I just really enjoy doing nothing. And it's red and it's cool and I like it. And I think there's a card. <laughs> Let me see here. Did she get me a card? Yeah, she got me a card. This is where the penis enlargement pills are. <laughs> a card to say thanks. The orangutan, orangutan is just there to get your attention. Congrats on the job, Jay. Hashtag adulting. <laughs> I'm, I'm adulting. Look at this card, dude. This is, this is fucking awesome. Oh, he has googly eyes. He looks like a member of my family. Did you ever see that cat online that only has one eye, so they put a googly eye over it? <laughs> Poor fucking cat. <laughs> I know. Actually, over the New Year's, uh, we were at a house. Uh, it was full of gay people, actually. I think I was the only straight one there. Um, they had a cat with three legs. Wait, you're straight? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Ooh, I got googly eyes, too. It's on a uh, cheese <laughs> for some reason. Maybe it's because I'm cheesy. <laughs> you're, got, you're the big cheese. I am pretty cheesy, I think. so. I love the shirt, by the way, Amanda. Good job. Uh, I always... Wanted to get you a really nice card, but all I could find was this cheesy one. <laughs> Thanks wow. for being such a great friend, Amanda. <laughs> Cornball. <laughs> very, very nice. This, this is our late Christmas gift, I assume. Oh, uh, okay. Well, it's this, this very nice. I, I didn't get Amanda anything, so I'm sorry, Amanda. <laughs> I will... Uh, I'll just make sure Jay doesn't get AIDS. How about that? That's that's my Christmas present to you. So that means you won't touch me then? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <gasps> she must have heard me. <laughs> I, I, I think I was talking about how I don't have gloves. <laughs> and I think, thank you, Amanda. No, th I need these so bad. It's not even funny. When I was going to get cold the other day, I lost my gloves, so I used socks. <laughs> <laughs> you used socks? I got a bunch of socks for Christmas, so I was like, I wonder if those would work. I was like, yeah, it'll just be like mittens. So I put these socks on. It worked really well, actually. You are so fucking ghetto. Yeah, I know. I'm just going to lounge back here for a little while. This this chair is so fucking broken. Oh, it hurts my back awesome. anymore. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you very much. I'm sorry I didn't get you anything. <laughs> I don't think she's that upset about it. I know, but I just feel bad. I just I, I want to try them on. <laughs> so anyway, as you notice, uh, Greg is not joining us today. Uh, he ended up having to go to Lancaster, where he committed all of his crimes. <laughs> and... Uh, go deal with traffic court because when uh, the drug drug dealers or drug buyers or whatever drug people he was shacking up with <laughs> stole his car he never reported it stolen because apparently that's not something you think of as a priority when you're on heroin yeah you know you're like where's the more, where's more heroin so a bunch of traffic tickets got racked up with that vehicle while he was gone in in prison <laughs> so so basically it's not because he is doing drugs right now or anything it's just he's still dealing with bullshit from ruining right, his life right right he's drugs. still he's paying amends for his nonsense so he had to go down to the the traffic court today and fight all these tickets and they ended up keeping one for for not reporting it stolen and i guess it's going to cost him 600 bucks Jeez. so he he really does have to pay 600 bucks yeah he has to pay he didn't know he bucks. proved it, that someone stole it and everything that's just one of the fines had they kept all the rest of them he'd have been paying a hell of a lot more than that jesus fucking christ but you know that's it's, it's no surprise to me why people end up going back into the game when they get out of prison you know look at all the shit they get hit with yeah and mama bear probably thought he sold it for the next hit you're probably right <laughs> <laughs> like i don't know i've known a lot of heroin addicts in my life and they really don't know what's going on they just it's when's when's the next line to go like Give me a bump. I need or, a bump. Or in Greg's case, injected directly in his veins, even if it's cocaine. <laughs> yeah, he was even. Which I didn't even know you could do. I didn't think you could inject coke either, but I guess you can, and I guess that's the best way to do it. And that's probably why he's hepatitis C. <laughs> what the fuck is on that board behind Jay? It's a really stupid joke from a long time ago, and it shows we're old. It's uh it says the cake is a lie. It's from the video the video game Portal. Yes, and uh, 
I've been meaning to buy new markers for it, but you cannot find fucking black neon markers anywhere. I've looked everywhere. I've looked Walmart, AC, more, all this fucking bullshit. I can't find. I have to get them off the internet. I'm, I just keep forgetting. I just fucking keep forgetting. Uh, if he comes here and gives me a BJ, I will guard him. Or I'll, I'll give, give him, him a grand. grand. <laughs> you're you're a special kind of friend. You're supposed he? to be saving up for a wedding ring, Trevor. Like you got to get that rock for. Her. <laughs> give her the rock. In Grace case, a crack rock. Yeah. <laughs> speaking speaking of crack. Um, Oh, my my tablet's quiet today. <laughs> I was talking. Uh, if you remember last, oh, oh my god, that's too loud. Holy fucking aneurysm! Uh, I was last week. We had these nice little Star Wars cups that you know uh, my friend Ashley, the neighbor, got me. And uh, after the show or whatever, I took them to the sink and I started washing them. Uh, whoever made these, you're a fucking cock. I hate you. I hope you get into a car accident, you scummy pieces of shit. <laughs> because this is what happened to the cops, if you can see that. And he doesn't own a dishwasher either. This is yeah, hand washing. This is just me hand washing them. Okay? And, it, like, uh, luckily, I didn't even really notice it was happening. But Megan was standing right there next to me, and she goes, those cops are falling apart. And I look down, and it looks like this fucking mess. Looks like me in the morning, like just cracked up and all fucked. Look at that. Megan's actually here right now, yeah, and I is. tried to get her to come on the show, but she uh, she said <laughs> no. Yeah, she's sitting in the living room right now watching TV. She's too nervous to come on. <laughs> like we're anybody special. It's okay because I didn't want people to know who she was. Oh, for God's <laughs> sake! Just Such I'm, a shit. I know. I am. I'm just. You are a piece of shit. But like, has anyone else had a problem with you know buying nice cups like this? Because I thought it was built into the glass, but now that I look at it, it's just like a fucking like, like uh, a label on a soda bottle or something. Oh looks. yeah. Well, here, look at this. When I first, uh, when you first like poured water last week, mm -hmm. I saw this little chip here, but mm -hmm. I figured it was just going to be an isolated incident. Yeah. And, and and now it's like all falling. But it's just off. like, why make something like that if it's just gonna fucking do that? There's something seriously wrong with it. Yeah, you know what it was? My luck sucks. <laughs> it's probably like they probably made like twelve million of these, and this is the only one that did it. You the know world, why? The world is so dark because it came around me. Mm -hmm. Everything that comes around me just goes to shit. <laughs> I'm done. The world is <laughs> it, it's so dark. It is no, but seriously, whoever made this, go kill yourself. I fucking hate you. <laughs> They are not made to go in the no, see. That's the thing. He didn't put them in. The I dishwasher. didn't put them in the dishwasher. He doesn't own a dishwasher. Yeah, I don't own a dishwasher. If you see my house, you would understand. I don't own a dishwasher. <laughs> he lives in a crack house. Yeah, red uh, solo cups still the best. I agree. Yeah, how, like that's... Justin's got the right idea. Yeah, how fucking about it? Like I just that's fucking bullshit. And actually, uh, I don't know if anyone knows that Chelsea. She comes on here as like Chelsea zero seven zero eight six seven five three zero nine or something. Chelm. <laughs> yeah. Um, I bought her Game of Thrones shot glasses, and they were about that big. And Megan was just telling me that they did it, too, when she was washing them. So it's like, pfft. Lame as fuck. Like, I, I like Game of Thrones, man. Why why you got to do me down like that? You fucking pieces of shit. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, you're right, Justin. I'm just going to start using red Solo cups because they never they never hurt me. And what's his name? Toby Keith made a song about him. So they must not be that bad. <laughs> Toby Queef. Toby Queef. I make those. If you do it right, it'll last, Mama Bear says. Well, they didn't do it right. Yeah. They, they're probably made in China. Yeah, probably, actually. Like, um, yeah, see. The label see, probably came off that says where it was made well, in. Well, see, this is the only one that didn't. The rest of them did. It's made in New York. Anything with Star Wars is bullshit. Star Wars is bullshit. <laughs> Jay's not a big Star Wars fan. No. Um, although although you got to pay your respects to Ben Swallow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, if you look, there's a label on the bottom. I brought this one because the rest of the labels uh, rubbed off, and this one didn't for some fucking reason. Yeah, sure, they can keep their branding on there, but not the, you know, the important yeah, I know, exactly. <laughs> They're like the most important part, you know, whatever. See, now this one, this one you've had a long time, and it's fine. It's yeah. Love Gun cover, yeah. which is my favorite Kiss album, actually. Yeah, I remember a long time ago, I guess, uh, it was a big deal when that record first came out because they gave you a little cardboard gun yeah, that yeah. came in it. I had and then they stopped releasing them like that, so right. it made it special when you got the cardboard gun. I know. I had I had the one with the cardboard, gu cardboard gun, and it got destroyed. <laughs> R. Lakov's Reekin says, what's, what's up, guys? How you doing, man? What's up, man? How you doing? I Here. hate this new Star Wars movie. I hate the old Star Wars movies. What? <laughs> They're stupid as fuck. Uh, since sexy bitch Greg isn't here bringing Megan. We tried. She's just shy. She doesn't really know. She doesn't like us. Yeah, she doesn't like us. We smell like sadness. Yeah, especially me. She hates me. <laughs> um, yeah, well, just, you do beat her. Yeah, I do beat her. Hey, <laughs> speaking of Chelsea, Chelm. there she is. 
yeah, Chelsea, if if you weren't here, we were just talking about how your your fucking Game of Thrones uh, shot glasses are doing the same thing. My Star Wars cup. I'm sorry, fucking bastards. Cup isn't made in Canada. It isn't insulated. Are you are you up? <laughs> no, are you a Canuck? A a. No, Justin. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the new Star Wars. I like I like the uh, the one before that was okay. Episode seven, uh, a new hope. I mean, um, <laughs> uh, the Force Awakens, but uh, the new one I just didn't like. It was horrible. Uh, the thing I like about Star Wars is it's like different worlds. You know, like in Empire Strikes Back, he went to Dagobah system. They were on Hoth. He went to um, fuck you, Jay. Uh, they went <laughs> to Dagobah, Cloud City, and all that stuff. It was all over the place. The new Star Wars movie was fucking spaceships chasing each other. Like, y- you want to speak of... <laughs> yeah, it was fucking... And Princess Leia didn't die, and I wanted her to die. Oh, wait, she did in real life. Anyways. Canada <laughs> representing maple syrup, eh? <laughs> speak your language. Chelsea, but you still love the shot glasses. I'm glad you like them. I thought they were cool. Once I saw them, I was like, that's for Chelsea. Like, I knew right away. Um, just like the present I bought Megan. <laughs> so, uh, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> All right then. So I got some shit to talk about this week. Uh, first off, there's a, a video game out there. I'm a big uh, retro gaming fan. So if you uh, if if you know anything about me, that's one of my major loves is is old NES games and Super Nintendo and that sort of shit. It is a uh, big big fan of mine. Uh, big fan of mine. I'm a big fan of theirs. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So there's this game that was released only in Japan, and it was called Holy Diver. As Holy in, Diver! <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have... First off, let me just say this. I This game's cool because it has all these metal tropes and shit in it, and it's basically... A, it's a Castlevania ripoff. But, um, you know, it even has, like, digital digitalized MIDI versions of, like, Dio songs and shit, uh, which is still cool, even though I'm not a fan of Dio. I have a completely irrational hatred for Dio. It, it, it's <laughs> it's ridiculous because I'm aware it's completely irrational because I love all sorts of shit that's like Dio. I mean, I love Iron Maiden and Priest and all that shit that's right there in that same genre and that same vein. And I even like cheesy ass shit. Like I love looking for the worst cheesiest fucking power <laughs> metal in the world. You do like power uh, metal. I love it. I love it. It has to be like the goofiest shit, like the stuff that's so ridiculous. It, it's just funny. Uh, by the way, to, if you want to find the the worst, most embarrassing power metal band in the world, their name is Custard. Enjoy, <laughs> Custard. Custard. Yeah, yeah, Jay hates Dio. Like I do. Hates him. And we were just talking about this the other day. Say he has Slacker Radio or Pandora on or some, and he'll type in like '90s R and B. Somehow, <laughs> some way, there will be a Dio song that plays. It, it just it, it torments. It me. like stalks it him. It, it's so funny. Um, but here's the even. You know what? Here's even stupider about my my irrational hatred for Dio. I love Rainbow. The you know uh, from Richie Blackmore. Uh, yeah, you were Dio that. sung for Ra- yeah. Rainbow, and I love the Rainbow songs with Dio. Yeah. I just don't like Dio and Black <laughs> Sabbath or Solo. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. You know what? I even like the Heaven and Hell album. <laughs> like, not the, not the Black Sabbath album, Heaven and Hell, but the band that they yeah. put together post-Black Sabbath called Heaven and Hell uh-huh. with uh, Vinny Appice and, uh, uh, you know, it's basically just Black Sabbath, Dio in it. Justin says, Dead Milkman. Dead Milkman, yeah. Um, and he says, I'm not a gamer, can't plug the system into the igloo. Wow, he must be really far up. Uh, Bruno also says, uh, how was your holiday? Oh, uh, it was good. It's probably one of the best Christmases I've had in a while. How about you? No. How, how was my holiday? Yeah, Bruno wants to know. Uneventful. Uneventful. <laughs> See, mine are usually just like boring another day, but I sort of had someone that I care about with me, so it made a little, little good. Did you just admit something? No, I meant myself. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um... I just wanted to tell you guys that. Uh, oh yeah, so so this I got off track. It's finally coming to NES, sort of, kind of. And the name of the game is Holy Diver. Holy Diver, okay. yeah. Uh, it, it's uh, Retro Bit, who's a company who's released um, like consoles, mm-hmm. like uh, they they can play NES games and shit. They're releasing uh, two carts cartridges, uh, Super R Type and R Type Three, which uh, R Type Three was never released either. And then they're uh, releasing Holy Diver. So 
the, you're actually going to be able to go out and buy a physical cartridge, a new physical cartridge for your NES set. So that's pretty cool. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I have a feeling that if this catches on, a lot of more companies are going to start doing this. Oh. You got diarrhea or something? No, this chair is getting uncomfortable. You know what? Honestly, I, I have been sitting in a chair for the last eight hours. <laughs> I'm standing. I'm doing the show standing Go now. get the metal chair. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing the show standing. You're making me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> are you getting the metal chair? I'm getting the metal chair. Okay. So, so while he's getting the metal chair, um, let's the tell... The Dio chair. <laughs> the holy diver chair. Uh, I guess I'll tell a joke. What is the hardest part of a vegetable to eat? The wheelchair. <laughs> the wheelchair. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. We... <clears throat> no one is safe here. We make fun of disabled and everything. Jay has gonorrhea, probably. Would not surprise me. This chair is actually better, believe it or not. Now, now this Holy Diver thing, is it the only thing they're releasing, or are they going to release more games? Uh, they're doing the Super R-Type and R-Type 3 multi-cart, and then they're doing that. Um, but, yeah, you you got to check it out. RetroBit has all sorts of shit. They have, like, a conversion kits, I believe, to, to convert uh, old NES mm -hmm. and SNES controllers into USB. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, all that sort of shit. So they they do a lot of retro gaming things. They're pretty big in the retro gaming community. Uh, retro bit. That sounds like a new like name for Fitbit. <laughs> retro bit. Didn't you get it's a Fitbit? A, yeah, I have a Fitbit. Do you use it anymore? Absolutely not. <laughs> Why? It's Amanda's old one. Oh really? Um, I was actually because I wanted to talk to uh, someone that had a Fitbit. I I cannot sleep. I have horrible horrible insomnia. Okay. Right. And doesn't it tell you how many times you wake up in the middle of the night? Yeah. Do you think I could use yours to do that, or did, is it a pain in the ass? I'm sure. Uh, Amanda's Amanda. It's really her. So. Oh, really? But I'll have to ask her. But I'm sure she's okay. Amanda, with it. I already know you gave me a Christmas present, but I need one more. I just need to borrow your bed. I don't want to keep it or anything. I just want to know how many times I wake up because it has to be a lot because <laughs> I do not sleep worth shit, and it just like I want to actual know because I thought they just. Um, were like how many steps you took, blah blah blah. I didn't know it did stuff like that until Megan was telling me, and I was like, "Oh, that's great." I'm, I'm actually pretty interested in that because I know I can't fucking sleep. Uh, give it to him. All uh, right, we'll do. That sounded sexual. Give it to him. <laughs> yeah. While we're on the subject, give of it to me, Daddy. While we're on the subject <laughs> of old video games, you know, the, just the other day we were talking about how they need to bring back Mutant League football, best game in the world. It turns out that not only are they doing it, uh, they're bringing it back to consoles. Uh, it's yes. actually already out. On, uh, <laughs> it's already out on PC. Is it the original version, or did they remake? No, it? no, no. It's an HD redone uh, new game, yes. but it's Mutant Football League. Yes. And uh, uh, Digital uh, Dreams is uh, <laughs> producing it, so. It was actually, they have a version of it out on uh, PC that's been out since last Halloween. Yeah, they even had Mutant League Hockey. That was that was great game, but it wasn't Mutant League Football. No, Mutant, League, Mutant football, League Football was the best. If you've never played Mutant League Football, it came out for the Sega Genesis, and it was the best fucking game in the world. You had teams, and you were all like mutants. Uh, you had special audibles that you could do. Like, you could wire the football as a bomb and throw it and blow up half the team. And once someone on your team died, they were dead. You, yeah, had, you had you had full rosters, and you could either win by you know scoring enough points and beating them, or just killing their whole team so they have to forfeit. <laughs> right. uh, what was great though? Um, here, listen to this. I'll read it, read a little bit of the article. It says sometime in February, or March, Digital Dreams will publish a free update to Mutant League Football or Mutant Football League. Sorry, I'm used to saying it the other way. Adding a multi-season dynasty mode to the game, which might add sounds great. Uh, in which a player takes control of one of the 18 teams, but at the lowest possible rating. It builds them into a powerhouse over several seasons. This update will also pack in a customizable playbook and a feature where defeating a CPU team in the season gives the user its dirty tricks. Somewhat like ah. a boss battle reward. Which I think sounds really cool. That I'm, does sound I'm cool. interested. Yeah, because they had they had fo uh, different football fields you can pick. Like uh, some football fields were in space, and they yeah, had you holes. Could fall off yeah, that. you could fall off the sides, or some even had holes in the middle. So if you were running, you just fall through the hole and float off the space and die. Yeah, for those of you who aren't uh, familiar, maybe with the uh, the, the dirty tricks. Uh, they're little boosts, like you could bribe or murder the uh, the the ref. Yeah. Or you could like uh, you know wire the ball to explode or nah. all sorts of shit like that. Yeah, there were so many. There was like you could put rockets on the football. Uh, you, I remember you could bribe the ref. 
Yeah, I yeah. They buy that. the bribe the ref. They start calling ridiculous plays, yeah. and then you could almost be sure after that that the uh, the the other team would kill the ref. Yeah, it was like a five yard penalty. Yeah, and there's the different races too. Actually, like there's skeletons, there's robots. There, I remember there being trolls, lizard men. They had lizard men and all sorts of stuff. And some teams were all lizard men or all lizard trolls, and some were mixed. It was just really. Did cool. you uh, do you remember the terrible Saturday uh, Saturday morning cartoon? There was there was a cartoon. There was a there. cartoon. Yeah. yeah, I actually do remember that. It was right there along with Captain N and the uh, the, the game masters and, um, and the Super Mario Brothers uh, Super Show and then Super Mario Brothers Three. Uh-huh. There was no Super Mario Brothers Two show. It just went from yeah. from Super Mario Brothers Super, Super Mario Brothers Super Two Mario was Brothers a little 3. weird. We, we people really don't talk about Super Mario Brothers Two. I love that game. I know it was good, but a lot of people didn't like it because it wasn't made by the same people. And you can tell. Well, it was made by mostly the same. Yeah, team. but there was just a lot of different people in on it, and you can tell. You well, know. the original Super Mario Brothers Two was deemed way too hard for the American audience. No, really. Uh, it was punishing. Yeah, you can actually play it if you get a the SNES cart. Uh, yeah. Super Mario. I like the shy All-Stars. guys. They're cool. They walk around. They're just like, doo, doo, doo. they have those little masks on and everything. And some shoot balls out of their mouth. <laughs> God, I'm sorry for all the yawning, by the way. Guys. Yeah, I was say, you sound exhausted. Well, you know, it's uh, do some coke. Where's Greg? <laughs> well, you know, I've just been, uh, I've been like staring at a computer screen for the last eight hours. So. I know that sucks because Jay got a new job and uh, basically he does what he's doing right now. <laughs> yeah, sitting with a microphone and. Yeah. <laughs> So he, he's like, he sat down and he put his headset on and he like got really depressed. He's like, I was just doing this. And I was like, poor Jay. <laughs> doing this for the last eight hours. Um, it's not bad. I'm not, yeah. I'm not complaining. Yeah. Don't think I'm complaining. I'm glad to have a job right now. Uh, Sometimes uh, there's a lot of people out there unemployed and shit. Actually, speaking of trolls and stuff like that, I wanted to mention, have you ever seen, it's a Netflix original and it's called Bright. Uh, I heard it was horrible. I loved it. Will Smith. Yeah. Will Smith is in it. And it's basically Dungeons and Dragons in the future. Like, imagine if Lord so of the Warhammer 20K. Basically, imagine if Lord of the Rings, okay's timeline kept going into today. There's elves. There's orcs. There's um, fairies and stuff like that. Like fairies in in the. Well, if you want to find fairies, you just got to go to a couple of uh, uh, questionable uh, clubs back <laughs> in, in the city. Hey. Um, yeah, uh, and, like, fairies to them aren't, like, pretty. They're like, these little ugly things. Like, in the beginning, Will Smith is uh, killing one because it's eating his bird food. And and the funny thing is, is, like, the, the races are completely different. Like, yeah. the trolls, a lot of them are gangsters. Like, it's so funny. They wear, they wear like, jerseys. They wear gold chains, and they're, like, drinking 40s. And it's so of funny. Of course they are. Yeah. And then the elves, the elves live in, like, Beverly Hills type part, and they're very rich and snobby. Like, they come into the precinct in L.A., and they're just, like, throwing their candy wrappers on the ground. Like, they're just fucking assholes. <laughs> and Will Smith is partnered up with an orc cop. And, uh, oh, so he's he's a police officer. Yeah, and it, it's just it's really fucking weird, dude. It's a little cheesy. So what you're telling me is it's Zootopia with live action actors, ba- basically. <laughs> yeah, and there's uh, I don't know. It's just I thought it was really good because you know what I liked about it. It was original. It wasn't some remake. It's probably based on some book. Or it some probably shit. is. People were saying it's based off the old game uh, Shadowrun. From uh, Xbox that I used to play with my friend Hammer. I don't know that game. Not Amber. Um, oh, you said Xbox. That's yeah. that's way past my time. <laughs> You're like, that's way past my time. Uh, Mama Bear says they're making a second one. Yeah, I enjoyed it. And I know a lot. Of, actually, the funny thing is, is the people that I thought would hate it loved it. Like Jason, he hated it. I thought he would love it. Well, you know, speaking of video games, uh, I got another thing to say. Now that, now that I got it here, uh, my kids got a PS4 for Christmas. Oh, did she? Uh, or did they, I should say. Yeah, they they got a PS4 for Christmas, which is really cool. But I'm going to tell you this much. I do not fucking get new games, and I don't get <laughs> new systems. Like, back in my day, when you, you got a game, you had a cartridge, right? Mm-hmm. You put the cartridge in the machine, you turn the on switch, you grabbed one controller, you gave your friend the other controller, you're done. Yeah. Nowadays, you got profiles yeah. and updates yep. that I have to download. That yeah, I'm fucking, like, that's like when the I got my new DS. I bought a DS for 80 bucks. I just bought the cheap little version. It's like, hey, before you get started, we got to set up a couple stuff. What's my birthday? What's my name? What's your blood type? We need a sample of your semen, a little fun. <laughs> <laughs> cup popped out. I'm like, doot, doot, doot. and then it fucking took that. Then I want to set up my Wi-Fi. I'm like, can I just fucking play the game? Like, oh well, yeah, shit, that's man. like, 
It's like that annoying shit when you walk into Best Buy and you're trying to buy something and they're like, would you like to sign up for a newsletter? Would you like to donate to kids with cancer? Would you like to donate to the rise of the Nazi power? I don't know. It's fucking ridiculous. Today's day and age, you might get a few takers on that last yeah. one. Um, funny but, thing about that, though, is, is I guess we could talk about this. Uh, it just shows how much the news media is fucking retarded. So no, Everybody's retarded. Yeah. Uh, I guess President Trump got a bunch of interns, okay, um, and he wanted to take a picture with them. So he took a picture of them, and I would say there's probably like a hundred of them. Okay, it's this huge picture. Mm -hmm. Well, this guy in the background's doing the circle game. <laughs> okay, you know what that is? Like, oh, I made you look. You know what I mean? We used to play in high school. Uh, yeah, yeah, the one where you, it, it ha but it has to be below your waist. Yeah. Well, lately it's it's making a comeback. Like well, it's, it's all yeah. over, it's all over the place. It's also a white power symbol. That's what they're saying. It's never. Been it is. That. No, it's, it's. I'm serious. No, it it's never been that. It's always been the circle game. Dude, I, like I come from in Torsville. There, there were neo Nazis, and they did that. I know, but it not never, this. It never started out as that. that. It was just that, and like yeah, but this is back in the early two thousands. I know, but the media is like blowing it way out of proportion. And the guy that did it was doing the circle game, and they're like, "Are you he, sure? Yes, he's." I didn't he see was. the picture. I don't he, know. He, like he's just doing. And so they're all like, "There's a not Nazis are making a comeback. It means white power." And the news is like, well, "At least he's not doing this." I know, and that's what I'm saying. If he he's doing the circle game, and the media is taking it way out of proportion. I I don't know until I saw saw the picture. I couldn't really comment. I, I mean, I don't know what the guys fucking brains going off at. but i do remember some of the neo-nazis i knew in high school would do that yeah but it's white it's white power it, it's 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 making a comeback right now and actually me and my friends play it a lot we'll tag someone on facebook or something like that and we'll think it's a video and it'll be one of those like the one was this guy's like hey grandma i got you a present and she handed it to him and he opens the box and her fingers like that she's like i got you good fuckers <laughs> like it's just all over the place it is making a kind of a yeah it's it is and it's called the circle game and they think yeah. it's white power for some reason and maybe it was back in the day but that's not what this guy's doing and it's just funny to see the i, I don't know i heard about it i didn't see the picture <laughs> the, i can't the comment. news media they're like <gasps> and i just uh, i hate the well it's like anything else they have to sensationalize everything because it makes ratings yeah exactly by the way click on our show we need you to click <laughs> share with all your friends subscribe <laughs> yeah you know like i uh, that, that that shameless self-promotion is ridiculous oh, yeah. uh <laughs> roseanne is making it i did hear that i heard they're coming about the roseanne show um, uh, Rose Roseanne's throwing a bit of a fit because she caught some Twitter heat. No, really. Some uh, what she bribed someone again? Oh, some. Oh, fucking, never mind. That was Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> she she supports Trump and some butt hurt. Uh, really? Does she? Yeah, I didn't think she would. She, I I didn't either. I was kind of surprised by that. But yeah, anyway, I'm uh, too. she supports Trump, and uh, some people got uh, real butt hurt over it. Like, whatever, you do you. I disagree, yeah. but it doesn't mean that I'm going to, like, fucking roast you on Twitter about yeah. it unless you start shit with me. Yeah, it's exactly. Like, okay. Well, that's like we were talking about last week. Don't start none, Twi won't be none. Twitter is just almost as bad as fucking Tumblr. Like, it's just... Hey, shut up. Twitter's our main, <laughs> our main uh, social <laughs> Sorry, media. Twitter, we love you. We never meant to hurt you. Uh, At Hostile Opinions. Follow <laughs> us. Reshare. Um, yeah, so, like, it, it, Twitter's a lot like Tumblr to me. If, if if people don't agree with you, it's just, like, a fucking mess. And it just causes so many fucking problems. I'm putting my husband up for adoption. <laughs> I want someone to adopt me. I'm sick yeah, of... really? Like, I'm sick of adulting. I am Adulting's so sick hard. Of it. I just hate it, man. It's so fucking complicated. I'm sick of, be, like, paying for everything. Yeah, that's the worst part. Somebody gives me so somebody take care of me with me having to contribute nothing. Yeah, exactly. Of course, technically, I did that for the last couple of weeks because <laughs> I've been unemployed waiting for this like, new job to start. But like, I have a coal stove right now, and I don't know about the rest of the country, um, but it is so fucking cold here lately. Like, it's, it's oh yeah, like three degrees every night, and I have a coal stove. Um, my coal stove can keep up when it's like 15, 20 degrees, but when it's like five degrees out, I cannot. It, it will not keep up. It stays about sixty with my coal stove so i have to plug in these electric heaters too and it's just like oh I yeah pay i'm for rocking coal. those too yeah so i'm paying for coal i'm paying for electric for these fucking heaters and i'm just like i love the cold but it's got to chill lately dude like friday and saturday it's supposed to be really bad i'm not a, i'm not a fan of the cold the older i get the less i can deal with cold 
I know, and it's just... I thing. hate to sound like an old man. No, you're right, though, but it's just fucking weird. I, I can't I can't deal with it anymore, you know? I get cold, and I'm, like, cranky and bitchy about it anymore. <laughs> like, I used to be... I used to keep my house at, like, 63 year-round, and everybody yeah. comes in, and they're like, oh, my God, are you, like, a homesick Eskimo or what? <laughs> like, yes. n- nowadays, like, if it's not, like, 75, I'm freezing. Yeah, see, I'm not to that point yet, because I don't really have a choice. Like, with the two heaters plugged in and the coal stove going, I can get it, like, to, like, 68. At 68 night. would be comfortable. Yeah, oh, it is. I still have to walk around with a blanket, though, because there's some, like, drafts in this trap house that I live in. <laughs> <coughs> but it's just, it's just that's, frustrating. That's, that's our vocabulary word of the week. Greg taught it to us. Trap yeah, trap house. house. Fucking drug addict. You fucking bald, bold, looking, drug addict, looking motherfucker. Bald, bull. <laughs> Take the neighbor. What's up, man? How you doing? How's life? It's, hey. take, it's taking forever for me. <laughs> I think we need to take a break here for a moment. Okay. Uh, we got we got to pay some bills. I pay some bills here. Uh, so our sponsor for this episode, as of, for the last couple of weeks, is uh, Private Internet Access. Uh, private Internet Access is a virtual private network or a VPN. Uh, if you are unaware of what a VPN is, it is a service that you can use to connect to that encrypts and hides all of your traffic online which enables you to circumvent uh, ISP throttling uh, the internet paid slowdown lanes that they're gonna probably end up doing because uh, Ajit Pai sucked the uh, sucked the dick of the fucking telecommunications <laughs> office uh, if you're a student or uh, a worker who moves around from place to place works in coffee shops and shit like that uh, you never know who's able to snoop on what you're doing, so that uh, using a, connecting to a VPN will protect you from being able to uh, be spied upon. Uh, if you download things that maybe aren't necessarily the most, if you're downloading on BitTorrent uh, Linux ISOs, <laughs> you may want to use a VPN to keep uh, the ISP off of your ass. Or if you're concerned about your privacy and security, you need a VPN. And the best VPN that I know of is Private Internet Access. I use them myself. And if you want to sign up and kick a couple bucks back our way to help make this show possible, it's Oho VPN, or I'm sorry, ohonet.pw slash Oho VPN. I'll type that into the chat too for those of you on Periscope. But it's ohonet.pw slash Oho VPN. Continue onward. Yo, VPN, yeah, you knew me. <laughs> Trevor says, well, guess I am beating up Casey and begging Megan for insulting my bitch. She would probably let you. Um, <laughs> and your bitch, I, I think you're talking about Greg. <laughs> we, I'm, Trevor and Greg have have such a romance going on. I wonder it's what it'd romance. be. romance. <laughs> I wonder what it'd be like if they met in real life. <laughs> like, it'd be... It'd be so funny. Like, Hell, I like you. You can come over to my house and fuck my sister. Like, I could just see Greg standing there not saying anything, and Trevor's like, do you want to go do some coke? <laughs> That's a huge bitch. Uh, I'm just going to use all my sound effects. Make this even more awkward than it already is. <laughs> hey, I'm just, I'm just speaking the truth, man. Oh, that's right, Trevor. Are you? You, you can't want to bang or be in love with Greg anymore, aren't you? Getting like engaged or something? He can share. He can share. That seems to be the popular thing these days. People sharing. <laughs> like all, right. all these cuckold bullshit going <laughs> cuckold on. Cuckold, oh god! Don't, Alex Jones. <laughs> don't start. It's not funny. Do you understand that? Oh. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. <laughs> gay. I like how he says gay. He's like gay. You can tell he's so gay. angry. <laughs> he's like those those gays. <laughs> I you know uh, I'm a big fan of Opie and Anthony and uh, Anthony Cumia is kind of uh, very very much in the conservative end of the spectrum. Mm-hmm. He actually does a show on Infowars, and I love it because he was explaining one day that. Uh, uh, He'll do this show, right? And then all of a sudden, Alex will break in uh-huh. during the show. He's like, I'm sitting here eating and I eat my uh, my chicken noodle soup, Anthony. And I got to tell you, I have an opinion on that. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Like someone uh, mashed up Alex Jones and he had this guest. And I can't remember what the guest was. But they, they peak, uh, spliced together every time Alex Jones interrupted this guy. And you just see the guy like. His face was... He was so mad. I, I, he, I don't mean to interrupt, but... He, he couldn't get a word in, and this guy was so fucking mad. That's the way Alex Jones is, though. He's just... He's a fucking beast, dude. And there is, like, Facebook pages dedicated just making memes about him, and it's so great. It's fucking hilarious. It's so great. 
<laughs> like this one time he ripped his shirt off just joking around and they memes about it. It's so great. He is kind of stacked. Yeah, he is. He's a Texas guy. Kind of like Ben Swallow. Yeah. Those, <laughs> those Texas fucking people, they love eating their meat and fucking murder getting buff here. You want to fight me? You want to fight me? <laughs> I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the freaking frogs gay. <laughs> what an idiot. I fucking love him. He's my hero. Of course he's, you he's do. He's a true American legend. <laughs> It'd be great if he turns out to be, like, Jewish or something. Yeah, probably. We should get him on the show. <laughs> oh, yeah, because he would talk to us. <laughs> Why wouldn't he, dude? He's all about he's all about that info war. He's dude. all about that money. He ain't about nothing else. Yeah, Come on. He's like, he's just like Rush Limbaugh. Yeah, They're right. all just talking. They, they do it for money. I've never really listened to Rush Limbaugh. The only guy I don't really <laughs> like. Rush Limbaugh. <Lombard>, <laughs> whatever the fuck his name is. Um Ben, Ben, or Ben Gleck, whatever the fuck his name is. Glenn, Glenn Beck. Glenn Beck. Yeah, I fucking hate He's him. He's a jackass. He's a yeah. piece of shit. He used to be like this hardcore. Sean Hannity, he yeah. sucks too. Like, Sean, uh, like Beck, he used to be like this weird fucking like, oh, the government's always right bullshit. And then all of a sudden he switched because I think he realized there was money in it. No, oh, it's all it's all about money. Yeah, dude. and just I, was just like, side. I was just like, dude, you just changed your opinion all of a sudden. I was like, you could tell he just did it for the money because it's like Alex well, Jones it, was getting popular and he sort of like went that route. And I was just like, what the fuck? It's going literally on? like anybody who appears on like Fox News and shit, they have to appeal to a certain demographic. And that's just the way it is. Nah. It's, uh, you know, you know who your audience is. You pander to that and you're going to be popular. It's the way it is. I mean, they have the occasional token token liberal on there just to like point and say we're not biased, but you know <laughs> it's it is what it is. Uh, there is a guy that I have been watching a lot. He makes a lot of sense. His name is Ben Shapiro. Have you listened to him at all? No, I don't know. Anything he's about him. Uh, I wouldn't say he's really conservative, um, but he just like there's a lot he doesn't like about how America runs, and he makes a lot of sense. And he's not like one of those hateful people. He's actually Jewish. And uh, he just, he makes a lot of sense. Like, he's one of those people that talks so much common sense, it hurts. <laughs> like, um, I remember he was making a speech and uh, some girl was like, where does it say in the uh, in the book of the Boy Scouts that only boys are allowed to join? He goes, on the cover, on the Boy Scouts. <laughs> and she just like was like, oh, okay. Like, he just, he's so, so logical it it just it's amazing on the, <laughs> on the cover i like that yeah he's like uh on the cover where it says boy scouts <laughs> she just like oh okay <laughs> he's actually pretty funny there's a lot he's actually last year i never knew this he was the number one hated man on the internet oh yeah yeah cuz uh he's like that Oh, I can't remember that gay guy from Australia's name. He he goes to uh, certain schools to just make speeches. And they like riot and try to get him not to. Uh, oh yeah, Milo Yiannopoulos yeah, or whatever. You, yeah, he's a jackass. Yeah, whatever that gay Australian's guy. And that's the weird thing. Like he's <laughs> I, he's I, he's Greek. Yeah, so many people hate him and stuff like that. But he's like gay, and he's like I'm on your side. And I don't know. They just start fires. That's where a lot of that Berkeley shit was coming from because of him. And uh, it was pretty funny, though, because I was like, well, they're just going to make him more popular. And it showed on Amazon his books went up 2,000%. <laughs> like, yeah, that's how it works. He made him a martyr. I don't know. Fuck, fuck everybody. <laughs> I know. That's that's the way I, I'm feeling lately. Like, if I'm going to learn anything from 2017, it's you got to take the internet in doses. <laughs> that, that's what I'm going to be doing in 2018. Unless it's this show, then watch it religiously. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're the only ones that should matter in 2018. We try to steer away from the politics for the most part. Yeah, we do. We Speaking do. of which, let's get off of politics. I got a question for you. What's up? What would you do if you no, knocked No, she's her? not pregnant. Yeah, what, actually, that's what I'm asking. What would you do if you knocked her up? Uh, knock her down a flight of steps? Well, if you're a man <laughs> from Palm Coast, what you decide to do is rig up the front door of your home with uh, wiring attached to a car battery charger in an attempt to electrocute your wife. <laughs> this motherfucker... <laughs> Oh, that's so this motherfucker is an, an amateur uh, engineer. What he did is he grounded the wire to the door lock <laughs> and put the positive hot wire onto the handle so that when you go to unlock it with the, your hand on the handle, it would kill you. I know, but the thing is, is a car battery enough to kill someone? I don't know. How uh, yeah, well, well, whatever. The expert, did, did, did the it, expert said how he did, had it done would absolutely kill a human being. Did it kill her? No. Here's why. So she was pregnant and he didn't want her to have a kid. He was smart enough to do that, <laughs> but he never thought it would be stupid to tell her not to let a child touch it. 
<laughs> what? I don't. I don't understand the problem here. Oh wait. So she Fortune was pregnant. Al- Fort- she was pregnant. Yes. Okay. So he's like, I don't want a kid. I'm um, gonna kill her. I'm gonna kill her by ringing up the door to a car battery. But then he says, Hey, don't let a children child touch the door. Yes, don't let a child touch the door. <laughs> now that's not suspicious at all. <laughs> but the thing is, is like. They they would know that it was like something went wrong because she got elect like not everyone just not every day you're like oh she got electrocuted rest in peace happens every day in that town like you know what I mean like they were gonna look into it <laughs> the the ways of killing someone that's just so unusual I, I listen to this shit though it's it's actually a brilliant bit of like Ugh. crazy meth head engineering uh okay uh they they found the front door was barricaded and locked burn marks were seen near the door's handle. A kick to the door sent off a large spark. On the other side was an elaborate rigging consisting of two chairs, a child's high chair, which means the guy already had at least one kid. <laughs> That's probably why he said don't let a child touch it. He, he cared about the other kid. Right. A child's <laughs> high chair, blue tape, a shower rod, electrical cords, wiring, some of which was cut from a bedroom salt rock lamp, and a car battery charger with clamps. God, this guy's like fucking MacGyver. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Uh, but anyway, uh, I guess it would be uh, some 120 volts with one amp, which is enough uh, enough power that the person had an 80 to 100 percent chance of suffering death or great bodily harm, according to the affidavit. So, does it say what happened? Like, did she like when he said, "Don't let a child touch"? It, is that when she was like, "Okay, something's wrong." Something's wrong, and then she called the cops, and then the cops figured out there's something very, very wrong. What? He's smart enough to hook all that shit up, but he's not smart enough not to say something like that. Does it have a picture of him or anything? Oh yeah, he's uh, he's he's a smart looking guy. Oh my god, he looks young, uh, thirty two. I like his face. He was just like, oh. mm, well, he got caught trying to kill his pregnant wife. So there's that. Well, he didn't want the wife. He didn't want the kid. Now he'd be in jail and doesn't have nothing. So there you go, buddy. <laughs> and on a related note. Because I wanted to t- tell both of these stories because they're kind of connected. No, a child was not hurt, Amanda. Uh, repeat that recipe, please. No. <laughs> no, Bruno. Um, so no, Bruno. Two, you need to go and make love to your wife. <laughs> on, a related, <laughs> on a related... I forgot about that. <laughs> I did. On a related story, two men were found dead after making contact with 24,000 volts of electricity while trying to steal copper from a public lighting substation in Detroit. <sighs> Jesus Christ. First of all, it makes sense because it's in Detroit. It's Detroit. <laughs> it's Detroit. They, they pried open the front door of this, uh, uh, the lighting substation, you know, which, which holds high voltage Yeah, for the subway. If you ever steal copper, I haven't done this before, um, that's why people always do it from abandoned houses, you jackasses. <laughs> like, a lot of times, like, the shit's <laughs> grounded in the copper pipes. Uh, yeah, like... But this is, like, straight up... Did they die? What, what did they say? There oh, was they were of... dead, yeah. <laughs> what they said, it was two of them? Yeah, and it's 24,000 volts. <sighs> oh, yeah, you're dead. Thank God they died. I actually well, got electrocuted once, you, and it is the weirdest feeling I've ever felt in my life. I've been, ele- I've been electrocuted a few times. Uh, there was an outlet, and the cover wasn't on it yet, so the wires were sticking out, and I went to lean against the wall and put my hand right in the socket. Weird as fuck. I've never felt something like that in my life. It just feels like going like this really fast. It's, just, it, it's so weird how your whole body can jitter like that. Wow, that hurts. <laughs> You're like too much physical activity. <laughs> I, I'm I'm a home based worker now. See, as as uh, as the weeks progress, you guys are going to see a gradual like <laughs> loss of sanity from me. <laughs> it's like first it'll be like, oh cool, I get to work from home. Then the beard will get ratty, or the hair will get ratty, or I'll just start sh- just showing up and doing the show in pajamas. <laughs> Danny Squirrel was outside the window today. I hope Danny comes back tomorrow. <laughs> I like squirrels. It's actually pretty funny what you're wearing. You remind me of like an old beatnik. Why? <laughs> I'm wearing a sweater. Yeah, it's black and it's long sleeves. You're wearing black pants. What black beatniks used to dress like. Well, God forbid I put on something nice for a change. Like I'm just waiting for you to like start snapping and be like, the sun wasn't out much today. <laughs> like you're missing the turtleneck and that's the only thing. You'd, you'd look like and a the beatnik. beret. Yeah, and the beret. Well, it doesn't help that I have my my black my black acetate glasses on. Today, <laughs> acetate it does kind of make me make me look kind of kind of hipster. Yeah, you know actually, who's really into beatniks? Fucking uh, Jason. He listens to a lot of their old poetry and everything. He listens to this weird guy. Of that, course, he does. Yeah, I guess they're not surprised. He needs to come on the show again. <laughs> Can you imagine sitting in a lecture chair and feeling that? I'm pretty sure you don't feel much of anything very quickly. Yeah. 
I'm pretty sure in the electric chair you like shit and piss yourself too and stuff. So that's probably. Do they even use the electric chair anymore? Or is it just all lethal injection? I think there's a couple in operation, but they don't really use them. Really? See, if I if I did um if I had a prison, I would still do hangings. <laughs> I like firing squads. Yeah, just something that's more like dramatic. <laughs> like like electric chair. There's only a couple people watching. It's inside. You gotta you know have the gallows because the gallows are always like the scary thing. Like oh, it's your last trip and it's to the gallows. You know, if I ever get cancer and I know I'm gonna die, the way I want to go out is standing up on a roller coaster, just have my head not clean off. Like that's a man's way to go out. Yeah, I actually want to be strapped to a bomb. Like if the if I went to the doctors, like yeah, you have cancer, you have two weeks to live. I'm like, can I be strapped to a bomb and just like dropped on a city? Because my death. Me and me dying, I want to take out more people with me. <laughs> you are a sociopath. Yeah, I know. Either that or I want to shoot myself in the middle of a restaurant on kids' night so they all get post-traumatic stress from it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on spaghetti day, I remember. You are a sociopath. I want my death to affect others. <laughs> I actually thought about it. Um, some guy, I guess, that goes to the New Year's ball every year or something like that was dying this year and he couldn't make it. So I was like, you know what they should do? They should strap him to the New Year's ball, and when he drops, he, like, explodes. Squish. <laughs> I guess that almost didn't work. It was so cold out, they were having problems getting oh, the yeah? ball to work. Yeah. I believe it. Did, right. you watch the, did you watch the Rock and New Year's Eve? No, I didn't. I always watch that. I don't know why. It's all crappy music I don't like. <laughs> Except for Kelly Clarkson's new song. is pretty all right. No, but no. anyway. Haley Steinfeld was on there. <laughs> and, and they had Fritz and the uh, Fitz in the Tantrums. I, I think they're kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's it. song. I can make your hands clap. No oh, gun. <laughs> it's it's indie pop. Rock I can make stuff. this gun click. Pow. <laughs> I, I like fits in the tantrums. Uh, I just watched a little bit of it when I was at work and ready to leave. And then once I left, I went to this party and just hung out there for a little bit. And we basically we didn't even watch. We just looked at our clocks. We're like, oh, it's twelve, and we just took a shot of champagne. Well, um, I got the kids that uh, that that sparkling grape juice. Oh, really? The the sparkling champagne. The, the sparkling <laughs> grape juice. Amanda Amanda had this um, pineapple moscato, but it was it was Ugh. carbonated. Ugh. I think it was gross. Ugh. I don't like wine. Wine's not supposed to be carbonated. I never heard of that before. Well, it, it's sparkling wine. Champagne. Yeah. Well, that's weird. That's all champagne is. Is sparkling wine. Yeah, basically. Champagne. Your, but yeah. it has to it has to be made in the Champagne region of France. That's why yeah. it's called champagne. Yeah, like Dijon mustard and all exactly. that fucking bullshit. Otherwise, it's sparkling wine, and it'll say champagne, and then style in a really small letters next to it. Yeah. Did the kids stay up late after the ball dropped, or did they pretty much go to bed? Oh, well, you no. Know, after after midnight, the, uh, the we sent them to bed. But, you know, it's kind of funny. Uh, I saw today, I was uh, a meme. It said, uh, uh, YouTube, look up on YouTube last year's ball drop, and any time's midnight. That's, that's a pro tip for kids. <laughs> I should have thought of that. Uh, speaking of memes, I've been seeing a bunch of memes this year about, hey, you know, you want to feel special when the ball drops? Start this movie at this time. It'll be. I was like, where, the fuck, at that where the fuck did this shit come from? Like, I saw the one for Forrest Gump where Lieutenant Dan's sitting there all depressed and they're throwing confetti all over him and S- shit. Start, start Forrest Gump at exactly 11.59 and at midnight you'll still be a sad, lonely, pathetic loser. <laughs> <laughs> I still love that movie. That movie's great. That is a great movie. It's like the perfect movie. They don't make movies like that anymore, and it saddens me. Just so there's so much substance to that movie. It's just amazing, and that, and that's why I loved it. And it just whatever. And actually, this almost broke my heart. You broke my heart, man. You I talked to heart. a kid the other day, and he said the new RoboCop was better than the old one. I wanted to kill myself, <laughs> but he realized he was talking about the wrong movie. <laughs> I was like, Woo-hoo. I was like. I was like, you just committed sin. You need to get your hand on the Bible and praise for forgiveness. <laughs> I generally don't like remakes, but I will say this much. I actually think the newer The Longest Yard is better than the old one. Oh, it's great. Adam uh, Sandler did a really, really, really good job. And a lot of people that uh, that are older. Chris that, Rock. Yeah, that knew, um, you know, the original when it came out says that they, they love the Adam Sandler one. Yeah, it was great. And, mm-hmm. and you know, they had, uh, they had uh, what's his face? Uh, oh, my God. Bobby Burt Bobby. Reynolds oh, was yeah. actually in it. Oh yeah, he played he played the cruise guy. Yeah. Um, did you ever play Pink Floyd to Wizard of Oz? I've never consumed yes. enough drugs to want to. I did. Yeah, you started on the third. You press play uh, to the third lion roar and the intro, and it matches up. Some of it, a lot of it does. Um, you get a little crazy with some of the stuff, like um, <coughs> excuse me, Jesus. Uh, the song "Money." 
that song comes on when it first changes to color. And they were like, oh, that cost a lot of money back in the day. That's why the song. It's a stretch. Yeah, that's a stretch. Stoners came up with this. Yeah, but a lot of the music does fit. It does at some point and sometimes um, feel like a soundtrack. It's really crazy. And like I said, if anyone wants to try it, it's the third roar of the MGM lion. Uh, That's when you press play on the Pink Floyd thing. Who the hell like sat there and tried to figure that I, out? Fucking drugs, dude. <laughs> like, I, I just... who, who who sat there? Like who was the guy who was like, you know what? What syncs up with this? <laughs> I know that's what I said, dude. When I was young and when I first, because I was like ten years old when I did it, and I was like, who thought of this? <laughs> At ten years old, I was thinking that I was just like, this is ridiculous. It's kind of like uh, the back masking thing that happened. Uh, you know, people were always claiming that all this shit was like satanic messages and shit if you oh, play yeah. it backwards. Or in Queen, another one bites the dust if you play it backwards. It's supposedly Freddie Mercury going, "I love to smoke marijuana." <laughs> You know, because that was anything you really had to hide back then. Or even better, people say that there's a... Uh, uh, Geraldo Rivera, did the, years ago, did this big expose on uh, backmasking satanic messages in metal. And he was talking about uh, Merciful Fate and King Diamond songs. It's like, I'm pretty sure the satanic messages are plenty clear playing it the way it's intended to be heard yeah exactly like and, and that's the thing like i was talking about one of jay's favorite comedians was uh hicks bill, bill hicks. hicks and he talked a lot about that who also wore black black sweaters yeah he did um and he was like any kind of he's like you don't like drugs he's like you don't like music because i guarantee you every masterpiece album there was lots and lots of drugs involved <laughs> they, they actually have a clip of that in a, a tool song off of anima Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, and and that's the thing. Like, a lot of masterpieces, like, you know, me and this guy were just talking about Joshua Tree by U2. That's a great album. God, that's a good album. I'm not a big U2 fan, but that album is amazing, and I bet you there was a lot of drugs that took place. I love U2, actually. But, you know, it's... um. <laughs> it, 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 they had an interesting period there for a while when they were the biggest band in the world. And they literally just fo- forced an album upon everybody who had an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> who was that? You too. Oh yeah, yeah. It was a big thing for a while there. Yeah, I, yeah. Because I know that a lot of companies now, like Walmart and stuff, are just being record labels. Um, I forget what band it was, but they just skipped the record label, and Target paid for their album, and they only released it at Target. Yeah, that's cool. But you know, like after learning what we did when uh, with our episode when uh, Sagan Amory was on here. Uh, by the way, thanks for any of you guys who voted for her. She did win the contest. But anyway, um. When Sagan was on there and explaining the reasons why you have to be part of a record label, uh-huh. even even if you can sell a million records by yourself, you can't you don't get invited to these festivals and things. That really uh, shed a lot of light on things for why bands still do it. Mm-hmm. When you you know sign up for a service like Dist or a Distro Kid, play ten pay ten dollars a year and put your shit on everything. Mm-hmm. But all right, well, anyway, we're getting about to the end of the show here, uh, but I wanted to tell you guys again, for those of you, uh, th- thanks, Trevor, by the way, for voting. Uh, I'm sure she appreciates it. I do. Uh, I appreciate you. I wanted to tell you guys, please uh, please be sure to sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. channel. Uh, we really are going to be putting new stuff out there. It's going to be uh, uh, youtube.com slash C slash openly hostile opinions, and also go to theaterverse.com within the next uh, couple of days, couple of weeks, something like that. I'm going to start uh, uh, putting some more information on that, try to get that relaunched again for 2018 in a new format that I think is going to be more fun and able for me to put out content quicker and easier. So uh, that'll be cool. Plus, uh, I was thinking about doing some uh, game streams and things like that if I have time. Uh, which I think would be a lot of fun. There's a lot of people doing that, but you know, like, uh, I'm the retro gamer. So I'll be like rocking, you know, Mario Kart streams and shit. <laughs> uh, hell, our patrons seem to like that when we do that, just the two of us playing games. So, but anyway, uh, be sure to check that out. Uh, check out our sponsor. The link as usual will be in the video description on YouTube and in the show notes and all that shit. So we'll see y'all later. Thank you everyone. Have a good one and enjoy your new year. See ya later. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions Podcast. (laughs) We are available on YouTube, Google Play, iTunes, and your favorite podcast app. Be sure to like, subscribe, rate, and comment. If you want to help make all this possible, become a patron at patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. I don't see you. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night.